Hey guys, welcome to Quick VFX, where I will show you cool visual effects without boring you for a whole 20 minutes. I have a very popular bullet hit tutorial where one of the effects is that I get hit in the chest, hit the wall, and as I slide down, the blood smears down along the wall. Probably the most frequently asked question on my channel is, how do you create that blood smear effect? Now, that is actually really simple. This is gonna be a fairly basic tutorial. You just need to know how to apply effects to a layer and set some keyframes, but let's jump right into After Effects so I can show you how to create this effect. Oh. Here's the footage from the intro. Now, one thing I like to do for any sort of bullet hit effects is to apply a time remapping effect to the footage to speed up the moment of impact. Not only does that cover up my awful acting, but it also makes the bullet impact look a lot more sudden and powerful. I then pre-composed this time remapped layer and used it as my base footage for the bullet hit effect. I won't cover every detail of this effect here. If you're interested, you can check out my full bullet hit tutorial. I'll just quickly show you the setup I have here. On top of the base footage, I placed the blood hit effect that I want to appear behind me on the wall. I then duplicated the base footage I filmed and rotoscoped myself so that I have one layer with just me in it. By placing this layer on top of the blood hit, it will appear as if the blood sits behind me on the wall. I then added a blood burst stock footage on top of me getting hit. I duplicated this layer, darkened it and blurred it out so I could place it behind me to simulate a simple shadow for the flying blood. Finally, I added a small smoke effect on top of the layers and tinted it red so it looks like a fine blood mist that shoots out when the bullet hits. It's already quite a cool effect, but let's get to what you're actually here for. Smearing the blood along the wall as I slide down. For this, not surprisingly, we will use an effect called CC Smear. Go to the time position where you want the blood hit to start being smeared down the wall and disable any layers that sit on top of it so you can clearly see what is going on. I will disable my overlay layer where I've rotoscoped myself out. Now select the blood hit layer that you want to smear. You can ignore the curse effect on it, I just added that to darken the blood and make it sit a bit better in the scene. Go to the effects and presets panel, search for the CC smear effect and apply it to the blood hit layer. You're likely going to see something rather wonky. The way the CC smear effect works is that it quite literally smears your layer from the from point to the to point. You can specify how far this effect reaches as well as how large the radius is of the area that is being smeared across the layer. You can freely move the from and to points around in your preview window and we will animate them to smear the blood across the wall just as I'm sliding down. First, position the from and to points near the center of the blood effect directly underneath each other so it appears that the blood is not distorted at all. Then enable keyframing for the from and to properties of the CC smear effect by clicking on the stopwatch icon next to their name. Move the time indicator forward to where you want the blood to be fully smeared down the wall and drag the to point as far as you need to make it look like the blood got nicely wiped along the wall. One small thing to watch out for is that the CC smear effect tends to distort a little bit around the from point so you may have to tweak it a little bit just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And that's it, your effect is complete. Told you I wouldn't talk your ear for this one. Now, this effect may not be perfect, but for most situations it is more than sufficient and you can also use the CC smear effect for all sorts of other cool things. And that is all folks. I really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them in the section below. If you want to show some support, please subscribe, like or share. It greatly helps out a lot with the channel and if you're hungry for more, you can also find and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later. Oh.